Reason number 65 of why you should play Worms Armageddon. My whole life, my whole life, I'm just playing Worms Armageddon. All I do is think about Worms Armageddon. All I do is play a Worms Armageddon. And, and now, it's gotten to the point where I'm eating worms as part of my everyday diet. I mean, it was only a matter of time, right? Eating them is not the hard part. It's finding places that'll actually be happy to cook them for you. I mean, a worm smoothie, that's not too hard. A uh, worm scampi, uh, it's gonna be a little bit more elusive. So what do we got here? Sour Crunchy Crawlers by Troll. Yes, another delightful wormy treat, and it's new for once. I can't believe I'm actually eating something new. These are a candy shell with a chewy center inside of it. They're basically crunchy gummy worms, and that's something I've never seen before. Uh, there are two things that are sort of at odds with each other, right? I mean, you have the gummy, right? in the name, it's rather gummy, and then you've got the crunchy, but those two worlds never ever cross paths. A novelty factor is one thing, but they've taken the time to put two different flavors in each separate worm. Lime, cherry, raspberry, orange, watermelon, all that stuff, well, they could have just gone with one. Okay, that's not bad. Trolley's always in the kind of like tier list wise, maybe forget them. But that's only because they're going up against Harry Bow. I mean, when you think of a good gummy bear, you think about Harry Bow and then everything else. And unfortunately for Trolley, they kind of fall into that latter category. Oh, they got something to say. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, they'll make you say. Just making a great first impression there. All right, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy now. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, it's about to be hella ASMR on this, baby! Now, they look quite wormy, and these things look like they've been petrified in some sort of fossil apparatus, and that's cool. I like fossils. They sound really good, too. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I really want these to have a satisfying crunch, and I think they will. I'm becoming a bit of a, a crunch fanatic here. Everything else that I want in life has kind of been a secondary to finding that perfect crunch. I guess you could say it's a bit of an obsession. Regardless of how it tastes, I know one thing for sure. These are gonna have one hell of a crunch. Let's go ahead and find out. Oh, that doesn't work. That does not work well at all. Just, mm, not, 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 not today. The potential for these things was really intriguing. You've got all these different textures, you've got all these different flavors, and they're all coming together to make a sort of a super treat, as it so seems. But here's the thing, those two textures no, should be separate for a reason. Biting into this is like biting into half-cooked and undercooked ramen noodles. You've got half your bite being really, really crunchy, and then you've got half your bite being way too soft and almost mushy in a sense. And that's what these are. They're mushy, they're strange, they're odd, they're not enjoyable to eat, and the actual flavor inside of it is more overly sweet than sour in any respect. I mean, it's a creative concept, don't get me wrong, and I applaud them a thousand times for having the courage to do something different and intriguing like this. However, the execution was just not that good, and this is something that should have stayed in the beta stage. <laughs> Launch the <laughs> steps! 